What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't. I hope that the audio is good. Setup is totally different. It's totally new the setup. So I hope the audio picks up nicely. And not... Oh, look at this. If not, then I guess you're going to have to deal with it. It's a little echoey. Um, this is going to be my first trimester live update chit chat with you guys. So I'm going to be kind of telling you guys a little bit about everything. Um, why is it echoing? <laughs> why am I in a brand new setup and everything? So I'm happy to be recording this video for you guys. I'm happy to be recording again. Grab a snack because it is a girl chit chat video and you know girls talk a lot, especially me. So grab that snack and come join. All right guys, so first thing is first, um, brand new setup because I moved again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I move every year. Um, we haven't settled roots into buying a house yet. Um, it is not easy, legit, let's be very honest. It's not easy buying a house. It's not easy um, coming down with the down payment off the bat like that. Come on, let's be realistic. We're no, I'm no Kim Kardashian. That, that can happen. I became nauseous and disgusted after pregnancy. Um, like, after a few weeks of pregnancy with my the old apartment. Like I could not stand the colors of the wall. I couldn't stand my sofas. I couldn't stand anything in the apartment. I got into this small depression because I was like, what is going on? Um, my husband painted my beauty room in white because of the yellow walls. And I created a like a nauseating symptom to that smell of the paint in that room to the point where I could not be in the apartment. I had to open up the door um, and I started, when I found out I was pregnant, um, I started feeling horrendous. Um, I could not get up from bed. I was very weak, very, very fatigued, very short of breath, very pale. I would lay in the sofa all day. Um, my mom and husband would be worried. I would be going to the doctor appointment and they will tell me it's totally normal um, the first weeks of pregnancy. Um, it really takes a toll on you and I was just feeling like every day I would pass, like I was just like dead. Like I would wake up out of bed to like prepare my kids and I couldn't even do it. My mom had to come and stay over for like a week or two to help me um, with the kids because in the morning was like the worst time ever. Like I could not wake up. My blood sugar was so low. I'm sorry, my blood pressure was so low. My blood pressure started getting, my normal blood pressure is 90, 60, which is kind of low, but I am very petite. But my blood pressure started being um, like, it was no joke, 72, 56, 83, 62, and it was really bad. Um, a lot of people told me that I was like, listen, this looks like you're anemic, like you're low in iron, like you have iron deficiency, and that's not good for you and the baby. And I went to the doctors, they said, um, when we did your test back two weeks ago, everything came back normal, your iron levels are perfect, you haven't had any um, like bleeding, you haven't had your period in like a month or so, so there's no way your iron level, your hemoglo hemoglobin, hemo hemoglobin, whatever, it's low. That is totally normal. Um, the baby's just really sucking it up. And I'm like, this has never happened to me. Like, I've had two boys and I have I just dealt with a lot of morning sickness. And this is just my my strength. Like I it got to the point where I was very depressed. I was crying because I could not get out of bed. And then I couldn't get out of bed. I hated the apartment. Like I grew out, I grew this nauseating feeling for it. So that made it really worse. And one day my dad decides, listen, we need a vacation. And I was like, yes, perfect. So I started booking, I found I found cheap flights to Puerto Rico. And like in a matter of two weeks, we were out to Puerto Rico. And I was a total different person in Puerto Rico. Yes, the morning were a little bit rough still because I would wake up with blood pressure very low. But I had to go back to caffeine because there was nothing that helped my blood pressure and I actually stopped caffeine. Caffeine is not good for pregnancy um, if you do it like in an excess level. You can do it in moderation. So 
I kind of started back on caffeine because I was like something needs to boost my blood sugar, my blood pressure off the floor and I started drinking my coffees again in the morning and I started feeling a little bit better I was in Puerto Rico guys I was a totally different person so I started seeing that everything was pretty much hormonal I was enjoying my time in Puerto Rico we went to the beach we went shopping da 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 it was it's been so bad my my first trimester has been really really bad guys um to the point where anything I did used or ate before pregnancy in this few weeks I have not been able to do that's why I stopped recording that's why I stopped doing Instagram I couldn't even go to church like how bad was it like anything like even the clothes that I used to wear <laughs> before pregnancy right now I cannot be like oh I can't it is the weirdest thing because normally you get these things with food but I got these things with things People started saying, oh, that's the girl, she's going to be a diva, she's going to be this, she's going to be that, and I'm like, honestly, I'm team girl, but if anything comes, whatever it is, if it's a boy or a girl, I'm, gonna, I'm excited because I was ready to have my third child, and I'm just like, up for it. So, everybody's saying that it's a girl uh, because the symptoms are very different. Yes, the symptoms are very different. Um... I am having my gender reveal get together tomorrow night, guys. <laughs> I am like, this happened from like 1 to 2. That's how it happened. Like, I received my results yesterday and I was like, gave it to my, my neighbor and I was like, girl, here you go. Let's make this happen. And we were going to do it for Sunday. But I'm very impatient. Me and my husband cannot wait. We want to already start calling it the name. We want to already start buying things for the baby in the color. So we're really excited. So my gender reveal is going to be tomorrow. Um, and it's just a very small get-together, very intimate, very just pretty much my family and close friends. And that's it. I'm not doing like over the top. I want just to be a very intimate moment um, because I'm still kind of not feeling myself, but I'm forcing it. So my goal is with my friend who is helping me um, with lactation. She's a lactation consultant and she is in the Orlando Kissimmee area. Um, if she allows me, I will leave her information down below. Uh, she has given me so much information, guys, that I'm like, what? I wasn't able to breastfeed my, my two boys. It was very hard, but I want to breastfeed this one. I want to do it all different. So she's been helping me and she's like, listen, if you're going to be breastfeeding, you need the baby next to you at all times. So I was like, all right, so then I really don't need to have another room. So we decided to come to this apartment, which is a two bedroom downsize it. And I'm going to be using the living room, which I absolutely love. The walls are white. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm going to be using the living room to kind of record. So that is it. That is the reason why I moved. Um, it has not been easy, guys. My pregnancy has been very hard. Um, I got into a little depression. It did give me depression. My hormones are all over the place. It's been very, very hard. Um, I think I went... I, right now, today, speaking to you guys, I'm 12 weeks pregnant, so this is the this is the last week of my first trimester, which I'm like, yay, because my doctor said that um, after the first trimester, things starts to pick up and start feeling better, and I am so for it. It's not even funny, guys. I'm like, I'm ready to start recording. I'm ready to start doing makeup, because right now, I actually take it on a journey of becoming a makeup artist here in Kissimmee. Um, a lot of people, friends of mine, ask me, friends do my makeup, and I'm like, no, I'm afraid to do makeup on other people, so, like, I have a lot of things going on, like, I have a lot of goals that I want to achieve now, and I need my health to start picking up. So, with pregnancy, like I said, the beginning, the few weeks, um, has not been easy. I went into, like I said, depression. I did not get any morning sickness whatsoever, which, thank God to that, because it really looks, I don't know. I didn't get any morning sickness. Um, it's been very hard for me to gain the weight, even though I have not been throwing up. But it's been very, very hard um, to gain the weight. From my first session to the last one, which was like last week, um, I gained one pound. <laughs> and I already know, I think I already know where they are at. I'm excited that that's happening. 
Okay, let's move past that one. <laughs> um, let me see what else can I tell you. I have not been craving anything like specific. Like I haven't been like, oh my god, I'm so craving this. I just kind of start watching the food channel with my husband. And no matter what time it is, whatever they're giving, I'm looking at my husband like, I'm craving that. Like <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing. We were watching um TV like three weeks ago and I do not do meat. Like I'm very picky with meat because of my stomach, they're being very sensitive. So we're watching the food channel and here comes um Taco Taco Bell, a commercial Taco Bell, and I see like the 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 girl's eating a burrito or a taco, she's eating a taco, and I'm looking at my husband like my husband was like, I'm on it. <laughs> and he went and he got me two tacos and I was like, this is heaven. So that's kind of like the weird thing. Like whatever I'm watching on TV is actually what um, like I, what I would like to eat. Uh, like I said, I'm not craving anything specific. I, um, But other than that, cravings have not been on my ultimate high. My husband has to give me props that I haven't woken him up at 3 o'clock in the morning saying, Oh my god, I want ice cream and pickles or something really random. So, um, I've been eating, I, I've been eating like Whoppers. Like, I, I've been wanting like that Whopper, Junior Whopper from Burger King. Like I said, I don't do meat, so it's kind of rare for me to be eating meat, but whatever. Um, let's see. I have received a, a few goodies from companies for my baby. Um, unfortunately, like I've been moving, I left them in the boxes. There's still some boxes left on our other apartment. I really wanted to share with you guys um, what I've been receiving, but I will definitely post a picture of them. And I'm super grateful that the baby's not yet born and I'm being blessed with companies sending me uh, gifts for the baby. And for me, that's just like amazing. So I do have to say that. Um, so I've had... I've had already like four sonograms done. These are the sonograms we've had done. Um, it's very tiny. Like guys, honestly speaking, people ask me, where is the baby? Um, I will show you the belly. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> no joke. At night, it kind of starts like getting bigger. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'm like... Where are you? So I'm like, are you playing games with me? But I am. There is a baby. <laughs> I don't think you guys will be able to see it, honestly speaking. There is a baby in there. <laughs> so like I said, I am 12 weeks pregnant. Um, honestly, when I was pregnant with my boys, um, it was all belly, but it was a like, huge, big old belly. It was just a very tiny belly. And I never gained the weight. So, so I'm going to show you guys. Um, Excuse my attire, but here is the belly. This is all that I have right now. That's it. That's 12 weeks pregnant to you guys. As you can see, it's not huge. And it's there, like a little bit. <laughs> you see, I can wear a shirt and you can definitely not tell that I'm pregnant, but this is my 12 week belly. And like I said, at nighttime, kind of looked a little bit bigger than at daytime and I was reading that that's totally, totally normal. So like I said guys, I'm having my gender reveal tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to find out if it's a boy or a girl. I have a lot of people saying it's the girl. Hey, I'm up for whatever it is, the cup healthy. That's it. That's all I got to say. Um, I don't know if I will be recording the gender reveal because since it was such a short notice, I won't have someone to record it for me. Um, I will try my best, to be honest, to kind of sort of record a little bit, some footage. Um, if I can get like an actual video of the gender reveal, what I'll do is whatever I have, I'll just put it together and do like a 60, like a 60 second video and post it on my Instagram. Um, people have asked me when I posted it on Instagram saying that my gender reveal is going to happen to do it live. Um, I'm not going to do it live, guys, because... I want it, to, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, I just want it to be like an intimate moment with my family. And just to be like, having to be on social media and stuff, kind of is going to take away from the moment. And I know no one in my family knows how to handle social media. So um, I will just 
post pictures, guys. I will definitely post pictures. I will definitely keep you guys posted and let you guys know. Let me see. Have I covered everything I want to cover with you guys? Um, yeah, so again, I'm sorry I've been MIA. Um, like I said, first trimester, we're right around the corner, over with it. Hopefully second trimester and moving forward, I will be feeling 100% better, feeling a little bit of myself. There is days where I can, I can barely, barely get myself out of bed. Um, so the doctor said, just give your body what it wants and everything else can wait. So that's what I did. I put everything on pause, everything from YouTube, Instagram, blog, church, things that I was doing at church, um, everything I put it on pause because my health was really bad guys, like no joke, really bad. Like I went to the hospital many times in this, um, I'll say six weeks. That it, I found out I was pregnant, I was like three weeks pregnant. So it's been like what, nine weeks actually. In this process of nine weeks, I got through the hospital like four times. So all I want is for you guys to keep me on your prayers. Um, keep praying for my health. I know you guys have been doing it and I have to say thank you. Uh, keep praying for my family, keep praying for my health that I can do this and I can finish strong and deliver a healthy baby. And I just thank God because God has been really amazing. He's even though I've been feeling like Gaga, he's managed to help me out of out through it. Like I've been able to feel him next to me, and you know, like even though you're going through this, I'm here. I got you, and that has been amazing. My family support, my husband support, my kids, guys. Like you don't even know. My oldest is team girl. My youngest is team boy, and they've been just amazing. So. I just have to say thank you for you guys being very understanding, being very patient, and being very supportive of my journey. And moving forward, I will definitely be sharing more with you guys. I, like I said, I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling like 85% better. Like I said, I've had my days. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for being so patient. And honestly speaking, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys for your little messages. And yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, you guys want to be part of this and a part of this journey and you guys want to see everything baby related, how my, what is the baby, what's the name going to be, and everything else in between, just go ahead and hit subscribe right down there. And don't forget to follow me on my social sites. All the information will be right down below. And if you have any other questions regarding uh, pregnancy, uh, any questions you guys have that I might have not answered here and anything related to pregnancy like how I got pregnant, um, if I was using some sort of technique or whatever it is you guys want to know about pregnancy. Um, honestly, it just happened naturally for me. Uh, I guess me and my husband are very blessed to be very fertile. So um, yeah, I know a lot of people are trying and can get pregnant. Any question you guys have, I will be more than happy to answer for you. So thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for your support. And I'll see you ladies on my next video. Muchas gracias. Adios.